Now we want to study the principle of superposition. What is that principle of superposition? Principle of position states that if we have a bar like this and a number of forces are acting on this bar at different parts of the bar then the total deformation or total strain of the bar will be the algebraic sum of total sum of all the deformation of the different parts of the bar that's it so the total deformation or strain of a bar subjected to a number of forces subjected to a number of forces is equal to the algebraic sum of indiju individual deformation or strain of different parts of the bar let us try to understand it through a example suppose we have a bar like this and the bar has uniform cross section area the cross section area is uniform right and it has suppose three parts like this here some force is acting say 50 kilo newton here some force is acting like 40 kilo newton and suppose here the force acting is 30 kilo newton and here the force is 20 kilo newton this is the first part of the bar uh, of the bar this is second part of the bar and this is third part right and it has some length suppose l1 l2 and l3 l1 is the length of this part l2 is the length of this part and l3 is the length of this part and our aim is to find out the total deformation in the bar how to find out that first of all first of all in strength of material we are working with static bodies or the bodies in, in static equilibrium you have to check whether the net force net force acting on a bar is uh, zero or not right so you will find that this is 50 leftward this is 20 leftward the so total leftward is 70 so leftward force is leftward force is 50 plus 20 this is 70 kN right and the same force should be rightward so that the body should be in static equilibrium otherwise there will be acceleration in the body and the body start moving and we are working we are working with static equilibrium bodies right so that the deflection in the body can be find out right so what is rightward force rightward force that is equal to rightward 30 kN plus 40 kN this is 70 kN. So this, it means that it shows that the net force, the net force on this body is zero and the body is in static equilibrium. Now there is stretching or compression action on this bar in a uniform manner so that we can find out the uh, deformation in the bar in this static condition. So this is the first case you have to check that and we have checked that. So uh, rightward and leftward forces are equal 70 kN, 70 kN and body is in static equilibrium. Now we want to find out the deformation in the bar. But we have to find out first the individual deformation of the three parts of the bar. So let us divide the bar into three parts. Say this is one part of the bar. This is second part of the bar. And this is the third part of the bar.
and we can give the numbering to these also a b c and d so a b is this part b c is this part and c d is the third part so this is one first part this i am showing here this is two second part and this is third c d is the third part right now you will see here that there are few points which are common like b part b point point b point b is common to ab as well as bc c c is also common point c is common to bc as well as cd and a is not common to any other material and d is not common to any other part of the body right when you are checking the force acting on this part force acting on this part force and to acting on this part you have to check whether the sum of these forces should be equal to the uh, actual force acting on this part b so a is not common to any of the part of this body so you can safely use this 50 kN that at a a point in ab there will be a 50 kN force and as the body in static equilibrium so there must be 50 kN rightward force so that the body should be in static equilibrium so there must be a 50 kN rightward force that 50 kN leftward, 50 kN rightward and body in static equilibrium, there is only internal deformation in the bar. Similarly, at D, at D, what is the force? 40 kN. So apply the 40 kN bar because point D is not common to any other part. And if 40 kN force is rightward, there must be leftward force 40 kN so that this body should be in static equilibrium because whole body is in static equilibrium. So 40 kN force is acting in a tensile manner in this third part of the body in CD part so that there is only internal deformation in the bar and now what is the force acting on BC let us see point uh, check point B what is happening on point B at B total force is 30 kN and we have already applied 50 kN rightward and 30 kN is total force acting on rightward there must be 20 kN here leftward 20 kN leftward so that the, this B and this B when combined algebraically there should be a 30 kN rightward right so here you can see here FB FB is 50 kN in AB 50 kN rightward and 20 kN leftward so 50 minus 20 that should be equal to 30 kN rightward and which is the case 30 kN so it is okay. Now 20 kN is leftward so there must be a 20 kN rightward force so that the body may be in static equilibrium. So 20 kN rightward force should, should be there. So now 20 and 20 the body in static equilibrium and the whole body whole all the parts of the body now got the forces 50 20 and 40 you can also check here because c is the common point you can also check 20 kN rightward 40 kN leftward and sum of these is 20 kN leftward so fc you can see here check 20 kN rightward plus 40 kN leftward sum of these will be 20 leftward this is positive this is negative so 20 kN leftward which is actually the force 20 kN at C so by this you can check whether you are doing it correctly or not so the AB part had 50 kN load BC part has 20 kN load and CD part has 40 kN load and all are tensile in nature means positive we when there is elongation or in increase in length we take it positive and when there is compression or decrease in load, load we take it negative right so there is all positive forces are there 50 20 and 40 now we can find out total deformation or total strain in the body and you have already read what is the formula for the deformation in a body so what is that formula you know that deformation is given by P L upon A E right we have already uh, read this in our previous lecture P L upon A E 
so the total deformation principle of superposition that this will be equal to algebraic sum of all the parts of the body deformation of all the parts of the body it means delta l1 plus delta l2 plus delta l3 apply this you will get p force now this force is different this force is different and this force is different p1 is 50 kN p2 is 20 kN p3 is 40 kN i am writing here p1 is 50 kN p2 is 20 kN tensile and p3 is 40 kN tensile right so these three forces are different so you can put here p1 because p1 is different l length may be different area in this case we have taken the constant cross section area there may be different cross section area for the time being we have taken a uniform cross section area so a is common and the same material if this is same material bar then e is also same so p1 l1 upon ae plus p2 l2 upon ae plus p3 l3 upon ae now you can take the ae common because this is a denominator of this this and this so 1 by ae can be taken out and you will get p1 l1 plus p2 l2 plus p3 l3 and this is the final result of this uh, topic which is superposition when there are intermediate forces acting on the bar now you can solve this if the, the area of cross section is given if e is given if lengths are given so you can easily solve this equation